What happened to the tequila? Flavor beers that came and went in the middle of the 2010s? With such a large Hispanic population in the U.S., why did this specialty beer not catch on? Today, I'll dive into tequila-infused beers and talk about any and all types of beer that was made in tequila barrels. In July 2014, Heineken released their brand of tequila, flavored beer in the U.S. under the brand name Desperados. Desperados beer use was a venture by the European beverage giant to tap into the tequila aficionado market to try and gain traction. While it contained no tequila, it was brewed with the flavor of tequila, transferring that unique taste to the beer. Desperados beer was six abs made from standard beer ingredients with addition of citric acid and tequila flavors. Desperados beer calories topped out at 189 making it comparable to other lagers on the market at that time. The Desperado's beer price point was similar to other lagers at the time, indicating that the pricing was not the issue with the failure of the product in the U.S. market. Heineken defended itself, saying that it used tequila flavoring and that the labeling made it clear that that was no tequila, merely tequila flavoring. It proved to be a contentious battle because the tequila industry was trying to rebrand itself as a premium liquor. For years, it was associated with a cheap way to get drunk, especially among spring breakers and college students who loved to consume it in shop form. The move to position tequila as a premium liquor was motivated by the growing market. As evidenced by the sale of George Clooney's brand Casamigos for $1 billion to Diageo. Desperados infringed upon the rebranding process that was happening for the tequila manufacturers. And even though Heineken worked with one of their members to source the tequila for the flavoring of the beer, it could be seen as a threat to elevate the cultural product of a country that has long been viewed as lower class in America. Mexican products are oftentimes seen as cheap not worthy of the money or attention of supposedly superior and wealthier citizens in the U.S. Brands like Tecate and Das Equus already serviced the low-end market of alcohol consumption, while the tequila companies tried to target the high end. But why did the beer not become a hit with the large Hispanic population in America? Tequila is an essential cultural product of Mexico, and Desperado should have been a comforting taste of home. Whatever the reason, it did not connect with an audience and was floundering sales until being pulled from the market in 2016. Similar to Heineken in their failed attempt at a tequila, flavored beer, AIB, introduced their answer to Desperado's beer. Oculto Beer was launched in March 2015, its name meaning hidden or waiting to be found in Spanish. In was a lager that was aged in tequila barrels with additional flavors of blue agave and lemon added to enhance the innate tequila flavors. It had a six ab and was targeted towards millennials in an attempt to gain a foothold in the growing market. It was branded with a striking white skull and black stars and laid in jade eyes. However, the amount of sugar and calories in it were a little much for me to rebuy it and keep it around. It could be extrapolated that since the market couldn't even support one tequila flavored beer, a second didn't even have a chance. It was branded with a striking white skull and black stars inlaid in jade eyes. Bud Light Mixed Ales was a line of cocktail, inspired beverages with flavors like Long Island Iced Tea, Firewalker, and Hurricane. It was stronger at 8 Ave but was terminated along with a cool beer in November 2016. While AAB attempted to experiment with different flavors and verticals to grow the footprint, it was somewhat disconcerting that Hispanic targeted brands were shuttered so quickly. I don't think the failure was based upon scarcity and that people didn't know where to buy a cool beer. I think it was due to a larger trend in brands not knowing how to target the Hispanic market in America. Will Tequila? There is an outsized influence Mexican culture and tastes have made in American consumption. 
nachos are essential for watching football games. But in the beverage industry, the seemingly obvious combination of tequila and beer never took off. Within the past few years, there's been an explosion of alcohol beverages that are pushing the boundary of classification. Canned wine became popular in 2018, appealing to millennials who wanted to socialize in parks and on beaches without having to lug wine bottles and bottle openers with them. Now there is a push towards canned cocktails, riding the coattails of hard seltzers towards even stronger beverages. It seems like the American consumer is more open to non-traditional alcoholic beverages. Maybe the market of Hispanic consumers for Desperados and Oculto beer was the wrong market. With the millennial population showing a willingness to try different beverages, now might be the perfect opportunity to relaunch the brands that failed just a few years earlier. There's also an opportunity to learn from the past launches of these beers and modify them to be competitive in the market. For example, Heineken made Desperado's beer price competitive with the past or other specialty beers. It could be rebranded as a higher value alternative, as well as being outside the price point of Corona or Tecate. Furthermore, Heineken could find a way to lower the amount of Desperado's beer calories to be competitive with a Michelin Ultra or other 100 calorie options. Millennials love to party, but they're also conscious of the calories. That's part of the reason why White Claw is becoming so popular. There is no longer the threat of a tequila flavored beer to confuse American consumers into equating tequila with beer. In California, where the coldest it can get in some cities is 50 deg in the winter and over 100 in the summer, a refreshing and citrusy beer is a must have. Combined with the plethora of taco stands in Mexican restaurants, a tequila-flavored beer could have a fighting chance if reintroduced in California. Given a new landscape and changing trends in taste, there's a good chance that what happened to Aquilta beer and Desperado beer is unlikely to happen again. You might be wondering where to buy Aquilta beer and Desperado beer especially if you missed the short window they were sold in the United States. Since you are a tequila fan, you probably want to get your hands on some bottles to see how well the unique flavor of tequila is captured in the beer. Unfortunately, neither are sold in the U.S. or Mexico, and given current travel restrictions, it's going to be extremely difficult to travel to any of the other international destinations where the products are sold. Contact your local breweries and see if any brew their beers using tequila barrels. In the meantime, sit tight, have a tequila cocktail, and hold on until travel opens back up again so you can have a can, glass, or bottle of one of the elusive tequila flavored beers. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below us if you have any questions, suggestions.